Um, yeah, I feel like a huge 2023 with a bit of rep footy, um, Aussie A stuff. How do you reflect on all that? Yeah, it was a really exciting year. You know, I was able to uh, play in a, a couple of cool teams. Um, so I was very honoured to be able to play at that, um, that level and I was able to learn a lot through the players that I got to play with. So no, it was a really exciting year and um, hopefully I can go a couple of steps better this year. That's a very good incentive heading into 2024. What has been your main goal through this preseason? Uh, I just wanting wanting to be consistent, you know, back up my year last year and um, play some good footy, you know. We've got some new staff in and I've really enjoyed um, what they've implemented into the program, so it's been really exciting. Um, yeah, it's been good. Coming up against a few former Reds tomorrow as well, that'll be good? Yeah, it is, you know, we've got some familiar faces um, over there in the West, so it'll be exciting. Um, I'm sure there'll be a couple words said at the bottom of the rucks, but um, it's all in the fun game. But as being a former back himself, has it been good to learn from him? Yeah, he's very knowledgeable and very enthusiastic about everything he's everything he does. So it's been good. It's been a, he's brought a nice energy to the group, and um, everyone's really excited to put out there what he's given us. Have you seen the, the back line change the style? Uh, I think it's just given us a bit of freedom. You know, everyone's really excited. Uh, we can roam the field a lot more and play what we see. So I think every player in the back line is uh, really excited to do that. Good to see. You. Oh, sorry. Don't um, good to see you back in the 13 here, mate. But it's really hot competition this year, especially in the centres and outside backs. What's that training intensity been like for the spots? Yeah, it's been training test has been up throughout the whole preseason. You know, there's um, everyone's hot for a spot. You know, we've got some really talented players here, uh, no, in, no matter what position you are. So it's been really exciting. You know, you got to come in each day and put your best foot forward because you never know, someone can take your position at a, at a blink of an eye. So it's been really competitive, but um, been really enjoyable at the same time. Are you feeling that pressure at all to retain the 13? No, I think it's just excitement more than anything. You know, everyone's here for the same thing. We want to do Queensland proud and we want to play some good footy. So yeah, it's been really exciting. He's a very talented player. We've seen that um, in little glimpses throughout the last couple of years. So it'll be really exciting. Hopefully he's able to get his ball, get the ball in his hands early and create some opportunities and show everyone what he can do uh, this year. And his speed, is that just another big tick for the Reds going forward? Yeah, it's really unfair. I think most of the boys are quite jealous of it. You know, he just takes off and you can't catch him no matter what you do. You feel like you've got to get him, but he just pulls away from you no matter what. You're not just saying that to keep him out of 13, are you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Where do you think his best position is, though? He's obviously played around centres, wing, fullback. Do you see him being able to fit a slot in that starting side? Yeah, he'll definitely be. Uh, he'll definitely have a jersey in that starting side, and I think that's one of his uh, unique talents is that he can play anywhere. So, you know, it'll really benefit the team no matter where we need him. He's going to be able to do a job. But, um, you know, that's a, one good thing about our back line is many people can fill many roles, so it really suits us. And a couple of youngsters coming through as well. We mentioned before the presser, but um, there's some real exciting talent that's come up out of the academy. Who are a couple of people that we should be keeping an eye on through this trial season? Uh, I definitely think Harry McLaughlin Phillips and um, Timmy Ryan as well. They've uh, really impressed me throughout the preseason. You know, they're young coming through, uh, but they haven't taken a step back. That's for sure. You know, they've put their best foot forward and really put us to really put it to put it to our us older blokes. Les probably feels weird if Josh is calling himself a senior statesman, but he is an impressive young man. What have you sort of taken out of his preseason this year? Yeah, you're right, he's an impressive young man. Uh, very comfortable in a number of positions. Uh, I like to blend the backline positions as much as possible. Um, and he talked about consistency, and he's been consistently excellent in his output, in, in his execution, and in, in his commitment to knowing the detail. Um, he's been fantastic. Uh, I would, I would call Josh that type of player that uh, is someone you can rely on in any given time. Um, but I don't want that just to be uh, just the word reliable. He has an X factor that he's able to pull out regularly. And, it, and he works hard, and that's why he can pull out that X factor. You know, defensively, he can come up with really good reads. Uh, he's very good in that area. Um, when we have the ball in our hand, he has this uncanny... Uh, sense of being able to be in the right place at the right time, which helps the other players around him. So I've been really impressed with how, how fluke he's gone. Typically we've seen him at 13, but you mentioned he can cover positions. Will we see Josh potentially at an inside or outside backs later on? Yeah, well, he, he will be prepared for that. Um, you know, I think 13 wing are his first key positions, but I, I, I do think 
there's capacity in a game for him to be able to slot to 15 if we need to at different times and um, and also to 12 if we needed to because he runs really good crisp uh, lines. He's got very good timing. Um, although not the biggest guy, you don't always need the biggest guy if you've got good timing. So I, th I think there's there's growth in him there. But um, you know the, f the focus for him at this stage they will be 13 and uh, and uh, wing. Um, but knowing that any given time, I, you know, I could rely on him in, on him in another position. Definitely. It seems like that theme's emerging, Les, with backline players who can cover multiple positions in your side. Is that something that you have been working on? Yes. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to make sure that they've got more than just one position, that they can play a couple of different ways. In this game, uh, that's the beauty of rugby. It's played in different ways. And to be able to flex and grow in different ways, I think, is important. So... Um, you know, the, the more strings they have their bow, the better. Uh, and it also helps us uh, in our selection. You know, when you're making selections, if you go a 6-2, you need backs that can flex between a number of different positions. Um, or if you've got a genuine 5-3, uh, the more flexibility you have, the better you are, because you don't know what happens in a game. You can be a yellow card, there can be injuries. So the better they can cover at least two positions. Uh, that's what I love. Well, myself and the coaching team have really worked hard to make sure that we've built a clear understanding of what our game means to us together. And then we've brought the playing group, particularly the leaders and then the, the wider playing group into how that looks, how it smells, how it feels, and how it sounds. And the reality is uh, that collaborative effort, that cohesion that we have in terms of that has been crucial for us in terms of... Um, uh, building what this team can be. You know, I, I truly believe, yes, we, we build something for them to work on, but the players are the ones that bring it to life. Uh, and they've been fantastic. You know, the, the structures and the, and the principles we've brought into play, the values that we've all agreed, they're the ones that'll make it, make it theirs in the 80 minutes. And that's what I encourage for them, to have that um, sense of ownership about what happens on the pitch. And, and they bring that to life more than anyone. A bit of excitement to see, yeah, I guess how that you know, that UK style ends up to see how we'll go against the Kiwis. I guess now that you've yeah, got your first game tomorrow, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, well, the Kiwis are, are for another day. I think we got two in the first three games of the, of the after we played it, the Waratahs uh, in, our, in our first home game at Suncor. Uh, yeah, but we've got our first hit out tomorrow against the Force here at Ballymore. The, it, you know, it, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure. There's a, bit, a lot of excitement around it. Um, there's certainly a lot of um, interest about it from outside in, but from inside out, there's also, you know, you know, real optimism about a few things. But you know, you know what footy's like. You know, you can get shortened up pretty quickly. So it's a real chance for us to find a little bit more about each other. It won't be, you know, you know clean sailing. It won't, it won't be. You know, things will go wrong. Um, so there'll be other qualities that we'll be able to, to show. Um, about being resilient, you know, fighting back into the point, um, just being able to be, you know, able to save situations if we need to, because it, it will go wrong at times. But um, I just hope for the team and the, and the staff and the coaches to work brilliantly that they get some real joy out of the game and see some special things that they say, yes, we've got more growth in us. What do you want to see out of the pitch tomorrow? It's obviously a trial game, but winning is important. What do you want to say? I think that the players really work hard what they've worked on and then pull the trigger, find out. I, I, I don't want them to be too safe. Uh, I'll, obviously, I want them to try and find out how they can manage the game well, but I want them to stretch the game and stretch themselves and just get a feel for how they can take the game forward. Uh, what does that look like? It's not just uh, flipping uh, rugby all the time. It might be based on our set piece and they smell that and they go for it. Uh, those are the things I'd love to see. Um, probably the other th key things is that um, you know, defence is always an important part. So hopefully there's uh, some qualities that come through in our defence that we can say, yep, we know what that's about. We know where it failed. Uh, we know where it's strong. We know where we can grow forward. You know, we're going to find some some good good qualities come through, but I think we'll also find out where we need to work on, and that's that's what you get from every trial. Um, Lawson Crichton will be in the team tomorrow. What are you liking about him that you like? There's a lot of things I like about Lawson. He's a very generous guy. Before Christmas, 
you know, we were short in 10s and 12s and he did a full stint, four games at 12 for me and let Harry McLaughlin Phillips play a lot at 10. So uh, he's a generous, generous part of the team. He, he, he gives for the team. Uh, so it's, it's only fair that he gets a shot with that 10 on his back and, and shows what he can do. Uh, very good game manager, I think. There, you know, still more to learn there, but he, he's very organised in, in how he goes about his business around the park. He understands the, the type of shape that we're playing. Um, very good kicking game. Um, and when you score a try, he rarely misses. Touch wood. But he, he makes a five-pointer or a seven-pointer, so he's got some really good qualities. He'll, he'll bring his own player into play, but he, he's really generous and makes sure that other players are their best out in the pitch. So that'll be a real battle with yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten, a ten is a, a really good position for us. We've got good coverage, um, players that can play different ways, and that's, and that's strong for us. Uh, and um, yeah, Harry will come on around. He'll probably get around 40 minutes, and he'll get a chance to play at this next level. So Harry did really well before Christmas um, at that next level of exposure. Uh, now he's got another chance to see how he goes at the next level. But he's he's tracking well, and um, and Lawso has um, you know he's just you know. He's more than reliable. He just does the job, and he's robust, and uh, he's going well for us. Any concerns not having James O'Connor in the first two trials? No, I, I would say what I've seen from James in the last six weeks has been exemplary. He's been absolutely superb in his engagement of the game style and, and bringing his wisdom and experience and, and helping out the young tens. I, he, that's what has impressed me the most, what he wants to give to those guys and help to coach them further. Um, in training, before he had a little niggle and a few issues with his hamstring, he has been on fire. He's been going really well. But that's what happens, and it's great to have the depth. And you know, some of the stuff you'll see from our other tens will be because what James has helped work with them. Uh, so yeah, it's a shame, but uh, that's what a team is. You've got other people to rely on, uh, and he won't be lost to the cause. He, you know, he'll be doing the video work and helping out those young guys as he recovers from that, that small hamstring. Jordy Bataille gets first crack in the 15 this weekend. What's impressed you about? Um, his performances through the pre-season to give him that role. Well, Geordie's a, a, a two-wheel cupper. Uh, and I, is he 25 yet? I'm not sure. But, wow, you know, it's amazing. So I, I've just asked Geordie to make sure that he brings his experience uh, to the table. Um, he, he's slowly but surely, the first three weeks, working out how, the, the, how he would uh, fit the backline play or our attack play. Uh, in the last two or three weeks, he's just come out of the ground. He's really, really enjoyed it. So I think um, yeah, if, if I was to ask for one thing from Geordie, uh, I'd just say go out and um, be yourself, uh, have fun, back yourself and have a go, and let's see see what level of growth we can get from you now. And, 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 and if he gets that, I think we'll see some good stuff tomorrow. The, uh, the props that you've brought in, yes. how have they adapted to it all? And, and you've got some experienced props that have come in. How have they... Well, they've been very important. You know, we're, overall, we're a pretty young team. You know, a little bit of you know, some good experience, but young. You know, we're, we will be the youngest team in the competition uh, on average. Uh, so those props that have come in have brought some, you know, really good qualities of leadership. Uh, you know, to be exposed to the All Black you know, ethos and culture and that, and they brought some really good qualities through. Uh, and at the same time, really engaged with how we want to build our culture here. You know, I mean, they haven't sort of tried to overtake it. They've been very, very wise about how they add their value. Um, but they've been very good, very good, I've got to say. Two good professionals, that's for sure. Liz, you've got a, a big bench of about 20 players for the trial because it is the first trial. Uh, it gives a chance for some of those real young guns to get a chance. Could you tick off some of those really young players who are going to get a chance to show their wares? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm excited for them because uh, they'll, they'll get some good minutes, you know, anything from 20 to 40 minutes. You know, uh, Floyd Aubrey has a chance to start. You know, it's really exciting to see how he goes there. But Timmy Ryan, another guy that is impressive. He just keeps working hard and, and grows every day. Um, Frankie Goldsborough, um, straight out of school, I believe, from last year. And, he, and he's, he's, he's really been training well. Um, a lot to learn still, but I, I think we'll see some good things from him. Uh, young Johnny Bryant, who's been in the system for a while, but he was very impressive in the Challenger series and uh, the Wild Knight series. Um, you know, I expect to see some more from him as well. Um, it, it's nice to have those young guys there, Harry, you know, as well. But they're going to get a good chance and, and a, a fair chance to show show their wares. That's for sure. Uh, Bob 
obviously some really tough news with the Melbourne Rebels. I guess it means that for next year there could be some big talent on the open market. Taniela Tupo, would you like to have him back here? I'm really happy with what we've got. That's my focus. It's the Reds this year, and this this group of guys will do the job for us. Um, you know, the market moves and the market changes, and um, you know, between myself and Sam accordingly, we'll make sure we keep an eye on things. Just a, I mean, we could probably go through the team list in full for a long time, Les. But one person I'd love to flag, not a, a younger player, but someone a lot of forwards and forward pundits are excited to see, Cormac Daly coming into the starting site. What does a big lock like Cormac bring to the Reds? Well, he's a robust player. Uh, I, I knew him from the Irish system. Uh, he's learning at a rate of knots. He's still fairly green in terms of his lock play at this level um, and in this environment. But, uh, you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's grown his fitness, he's grown his awareness, he's, he's going to call some lineouts tomorrow. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he's got a chance to show his wares. That's the main thing. You know, Cormac. Uh, you know, he left the Randwick system to, to try his hand here. We're, we're very grateful for that, so it'll be nice. You know, the more competition you have in those areas, the better. You know, that, I think all locks will improve by having that type of competition there. And, and uh, you know, he's, he's been really handy to have around Cormac.